Welcome back to my studio. I am working on bluebirds in a basket of petunias and daisies, and so I'm going to start working on the petunias. I've already done the daisies and the background and everything. So I'm using mixtures of permanent rose plus white for my petunias. And this is just makes a really nice, pretty hot pink. They get darker as they go down into the center. I want this want this pink behind the bluebird's head so that it accentuates his head. And you can see with this large square ended brush, this is called a bright brush, and that allows me, I can just work right around there. Now I'm going to use a little magenta plus liquid original to just make the depth of that flower. Now I've gone a little bit over my oil wash sketch that I originally blocked in or drew in when I first started and that's dry so I can come back and erase where I've painted over that. And I just take a clean brush and see how I can just lift that paint off of there so that when I come back to paint that bird I won't have that won't have that rough edge of the flower behind it. But you can see the, how the light behind the dark of his head will make it stand out. So I just continue doing my flowers here. I don't want this to be real light on this one because we're going to have some light in here on the bird. So I want a little bit darker behind him. Now I lighten the, the flower as we come over to this side. And I just block all of my flowers in. This one's going to break up in front of his leg. Again, I make this depth of the center in here. And the light's hitting this flower. Now the basket is wet, so I have to be very careful that I don't pull some of that paint into my flower paint. So I have to keep wash, wiping my brush out with the tissue. And then we've got a few little buds here that come over the basket. And I can just drag this brush in. But see how that picked up some of that brown from the basket? So I have to keep wiping my brush so that that doesn't mess up my color. I don't want these, I'll have a little lightness on this. I don't want it too light because then it'll draw your eye to the edge of the canvas and I don't want that. So Now the leaves will kind of come over this, this flower. I need to put my deep, deep part in here. These are all in shadow. Now this was wet up here and you can see how I've pulled some of that into my petunia there. And this one is in shadow, so it doesn't really matter that it gets a little bit duller. But this is... And this one is also in shadow. It's behind that. So I have to be very careful. I pull my color toward those petals, and then I don't pull the orange into my petunia. And you can see from this angle how this is on a gallery wrap canvas. I painted the side black and then taped it off. And then I, when I'm done, I will just pull that tape off and I have a self frame. When I'm painting, I don't worry about answering the phone. It's just too interrupted. If it's important, they'll leave a message and most of the time it's a sales call and not worth answering anyway. So then I have some couple little mud buds here. I'm not going to worry about these petunias up here right now because I want to show you how I then come back in and, and bring my leaves in. So let me put my centers in here. Again, this is magenta plus liquid. I 
I'm going to use, now I'm using mixes of Viridian Green plus White, and that's my little brighter blue-green foliage for the petunias. And I just block that in pretty with, I can use the corner of my brush to make those little flower petals. This is how I paint the petunias. These, these has a few little petals coming over that, that flower. Now these are back in shadow, so we won't have as much light into this. The tape is coming off there. I have to be careful so my paint doesn't go under the tape, because I don't want to mess up the black side there. I also show the complete step-by-step -step process on my blog. I show, I will describe my color mixtures and you can see the entire step-by-step -step process of this on my blog. The link is in the description below and that will most likely answer a lot of questions for you. But also feel free if you have questions to, to write in the comment section and ask. Happy to answer your questions. So this is, let me put a few little stems in here with a smaller brush. And that's how the petunias are painted. Put a stem coming down here. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also subscribe to my blog. And there we go. That's how I paint the petunias. So thank you for watching. Thank you for watching along today and or following along today. And you just have a super, super day. Today's a great day to have a great day. And happy painting.